Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to create an XY scatter chart. Now, the reason why we would use an XY scatter chart is to see the relationship or the correlation between two values. So we would have an X, the, our X axis, we have a column that kind of represents our X value, which will be on our X axis, and we have a column that will represent our Y values, which would be on our Y axis. Now, the x-axis would be our independent variable, so uh, it's not dependent on anything. And the y-axis is our dependent variable, so that basically would depend on the uh, values of the x-axis. So here's a kind of a small table of um, our uh, x variable or x values and our y values. So basically what we're saying here is as the temperature decreases we are seeing an increase in the sales of jackets now we may have uh, other types you may have another type of table where you would see um, a different x value and uh, different y values and you want to see the relationships or the correlation between those two values and a xy or scatter chart would show that relationship so let's see how we create this type of chart I'm gonna go ahead and bring this table over uh, select that control C bring it into a new worksheet and paste the value there let's uh, double click these column the lines here in between the uh, columns just to auto fit let's make this a little bit bigger and basically what we can do is since there's uh, these there's no breaks within the cells I can just select any of the cells and go into insert um, chart I mean excuse me insert charts scatter and we're gonna select the scatter with the markers and basically this gives us our scatter chart uh, we don't need this here I'm, I usually take away the legend select that delete take away the uh, grid lines here and we can see here since we have just a few I mean not that many values uh, we can see that it's kind of a downward trend but what you can also do is you can add a trend line so if you select any of those values select that and right click or I think you can go to layout let's see if we do layout or format uh, it doesn't let you do that but uh, let's, let's do it manually well, it does you, you have these these uh, chart layouts that you can see one is a what a trend line but if you didn't want to use those and have these extra grid lines so if you selected that it would have all these grid lines here let's undo that the other way to do it is just to select the values see these markers here for the values and right click that and add trend line it's going to give you the format trend line dialog box and basically you can just select what it has here um, usually I just select linear I'm not too familiar with the other ones, logarithmic uh, or polynomial or moving average, uh, in relation to the trend line here. But uh, usually, I can just I just select that and click close, and you can see that there's a downward trend in the uh, the data here. Now we have this this uh, our, our y value goes down negative here, which we really don't have in our table here so what we can do is we can click that and right click it and go to format axis and at the minimum select fixed and just make that zero so basically we're not, we're not, we're not going under zero uh, we're not going under zero zero sale of jackets so we will probably also want to add the the labels for each of the access so we can go under layout uh, access titles horizontal and that's going to give this one uh, this is our temperature so we used to go from 0 to uh, 120 excuse 0 to 120 right now so you can see we have our our value here 110 to 0 and also 100 and this is a 1 you can see that as I hover over it so basically what we can do is we can just I click on that make sure the solid lines or just go up here into the formula bar and click equal and we're just going to use the column field for that temperature press enter 
And let's add also the label for the vertical axis. And let's have it a horizontal title. And this one, I think we can just click. We can just put in quantity. So there you have it. This is really a basic overview of how to create an XY scatter chart. And basically, in the scatter chart, you're looking for a relationship between two values, your list of X values and your list of Y values. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.